All right, here's your, you got forward, back, pointer. I don't, wait, who I, Okay. Um, does she have notes on this? I guess sure. I'll... <laughs> no, there are no notes, but you've got visuals. There you go. All right. My name's Dan Mealy, um, also known as Amanda McKitchen, and I'm going to be presenting on coral bleaching mortality benthic community assemblages on the reefs within the Pacific Island Network uh, National Parks. All right. I've never been to any of these places. She doesn't have any notes. So... There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of sites. These are the ones that we uh, worked at. And just to kind of go over some of the benthic cover methods we did, uh, we had an annual monitoring at 25 meter transect at each park, uh, 15 fixed. Um, yeah, you guys can read those, right? Do you need me to cover them all? I'm just going to go through them slowly and then... It looks like some complex graphs coming up here next. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to go to the next slide. So what do we got here? On the X, we have year. On the Y, we've got our degree heating weeks. So it looks like in 2013 and 17, we have having some pretty big spikes right there in Santa and Guam. Yeah, there's some... Pretty big spikes there in the recent years. So things are getting warmer recently. Yeah, yeah. It's not looking good. Yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah, that looks like a lot of bleaching. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bleachy. Yeah. All right, who wants to cover this one? I'm not even going to try. Yeah. We got coral cover on the Y. I'm seeing declines. Yeah. Uh, we've got no data in the middle, but we've got declines probably pretty easily. Does it say why there's no data there? Mm -hmm. so no. They don't have data. Yeah. Okay. Just looking for data. Abs yeah. Yeah. Oh. And it's consistent with what we saw along the whole west coast of Okay, you want to take over? All right. All right. Okay, I'm Courtney Couch. Um, I do know this coastline fairly well. Uh, they saw a lot of mortality in this one area, and then it is consistent with what they saw along the coastline. Um, some of the taxa, they saw upwards of about 90% mortality. Um, I don't know about here. But yeah, they saw a lot of mortality, which is consistent with what they saw along the whole coastline. Um, although I will note that there are some areas al along this coastline that did not see high mortality. Um, so what else they got here? Kaluko Hanukahau, live coral cover. Yeah, so they, while the other coral cover is declining, it looks like it's being replaced by turf algae and CCA, which is pretty consistent with what they're seeing elsewhere. Yep. I will note that um, for Hawaii Island and a lot of Hawaii, there's a, not a lot of macroalgae, uh, which is sort of different from what you guys see here. Yep. Um, Kalapapa, which is on the northern side of Molokai, is a fairly high exposure system. And wow. Yeah. <laughs> All of that is happening. So it looks like Turf algae is, is, is uh, high there, which is consistent with what we would expect for that system. Yep. Cool. And then that is happening. Jeez. A lot of variation among transects. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting because the, that, the, the windward coast of the, of the Hawaiian Islands generally have a lot more meandrina colonies. So, yeah. How are we doing on time? You guys, okay. Two minutes. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Yep. Tutuila. Yep. So lots of uh, CCA there, I think. What color is that? Yeah. Low coral. 
Yeah, so the Tutu Ela does not get bleached um, as bad as some of the other areas um, in the Pacific. Uh, significant increase in coral cover. That's cool. Yay. <laughs> that's, that's good to hear. Uh, no significant change in mortality. Yep, that's, that is, uh, I have heard that before. <laughs> yep. Cool. And then Guam, what's happening here? So bleaching reported in other agencies. Yeah. I know Lori is, is Lori has definitely reported a lot of bleaching. And what do we know about there is now too? I'm I know Amanda Awesome. So tag tag. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, <laughs> Conclusions, long-term monitoring <laughs> provides valuable insights. This is true. Yep, four parks had some severe mortality. <laughs> this is also true. Yep. <laughs> and uh, more information is needed in the reflaps. Probably true. <laughs> Targeted bleaching and disturbance right. needed. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel and to everybody else that contributed. <laughs> I don't